Synopsis Magic Q, Tutorial 6, Recording a Q and a Q stack. First of all, we're going to start by opening Magic Q. So we go to All Program, Camsys Magic Q, Camsys Magic Q PC. We're going to select Lighting Demo. This automatically loads our Roby Demo Show with some spots and washes. I'm going to open the visualizer. I'm going to visualizer, view visualizer, so that we can see what we're doing. I'm now going to select my spots. I'm going to locate them, which brings the intensity at 100% and defaults the rest of the parameters in the programmer. So you can see in the visualizer, the spots are now at full. I'm going to select yellow and the position up. And I'm now going to record this as the first queue. I'm going to select a free page, so using the next page button, I'm going to select a page. Here, page 4 is free. You can see page 4 is indicated in the status window here. So to record the queue, I press the record button, and the record LED is illuminated, and then I press the S button above the playback and that has recorded the first queue. You can also set a name for the queue stack by pressing the set button, the S button above the playback and then entering a name, for example test. You can also use your keyboard on your PC or your Mac. I'm now going to make a second queue. I'll change the colour to red and I'll change the position to down. To record the second queue, I press record again and just press the S button again. You can see now that there are two queues recorded on this queue stack. If I double press the S button, then you can see the queue stack. There's two queues in this queue stack. Because we started in normal mode, then it has defaulted to a chase so that one queue will play after the other. So if I will first of all clear the programmer by pressing the clear button and then I can start my queue stack by raising the fader. And you can see in the visualizer it's now chasing between the two steps. If I want to change it so that it's a theatre style queue stack instead of a chase then I've got a button at the top called Queue Timing. I can select Queue Timing, so agree to set each step to individual timing. Now, in order to move from step to step, I must press the Go button. So you can see I'm pressing the Go button. If I want to set a fade time, I can set the fade time fade time column here. So for example I could set it to 3 seconds. So now when I press the go button it will fade over 3 seconds. And that's how to make a queue and a queue stack. For further info please visit www dot camsis dot co dot uk